welcome to my channel once again. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to show you how you can achieve this beautiful look. It's a negative space design. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. You can do it with hearts or flowers. So stay tuned if you'd like to know how. So this is what I'm using today. It's a beautiful colour from Ink London. Um, it's called Blue Blood and it's fantastic because it's got blue, purple and red tones to it. You can use any dark polish you like, but I'm going to be using this colour today. I'm also going to be using this beautiful glitter from Magpie. It's called Pearl and it's an iridescent pink green colour. Looks absolutely fantastic over all colours. You're also going to need a white polish as well. I'm using Ink London I-54. I'm going to decant this on some foil because we're going to use this with a dotting tool later on. Also what I'm going to be using are these stickers. They're usually used for making cards and other crafts as well, but they're absolutely perfect for nails. I'm going to be using this heart. You can also use nail vinyls as well. I know Sarah R has um, recently reviewed nail vinyls, but I'm going to be using these today for my negative space design. So after applying two coats of Blue Blood and curing each coat, leaving the inhibition layer on, I'm applying the heart to the nail where I want it to go, so right in the middle of the nail. I'm placing that on and pressing it down with my tweezers. So I'm now going to decant some glitter into the lid of my pot so I can use this in my design. And taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to press the glitter into the inhibition layer. You want to do this so as not to, try not to lift up the heart or the nail vinyl that you're using. As you can see in the video here, my heart is starting to lift up. Um, I'm going to show you how you can fix this later on because some of the glitter does actually go underneath uh, where I don't want the glitter to be. But I'm going to um, carry on with the video so that I can show you that if this does happen to you, I can show you how you can fix this problem. So keep pressing the glitter into the inhibition layer. You want it to go all the way around. As you can see, this pearl looks absolutely gorgeous over a darker colour. It really transforms it. You just want to um, brush off the excess glitter so it lays nice and flat on your nail. You can be quite firm with this glitter because it is pressed into place. Brushing off all the excess glitter. Making sure it's nice and flat, ready for top coating. So after you've applied the glitter, you can now remove the heart. And as you can see, when I remove the heart, some of the glitter has seeped underneath. But I'm going to show you how you can tidy this up. So if any glitter has seeped underneath your design, like it has done on mine, all you need to do is get a clean gel brush with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Not so that it's soaking wet, but just, be, just so that it's damp and just wipe away using your brush to clean those lines around the edges of your design. It's quite easy and simple to do. And when you finish cleaning your lines, you should have a lovely, nice, clean heart ready for the next stage. Now what you need to do is, with your white polish that you've already decanted, get a fine dotting tool and trace the heart around with white dots. Now you can use any colour, I'm using white today because it will stand out, but I think silver or gold or any colour really would really look lovely. It's all about having a play, seeing what colours you've already got and creating your own design. So just trace those hearts all the way around. The great thing about this design as well is that it's really forgiving. If your heart isn't completely perfect, um, you can place the white dots around, tracing it around so that you have the perfect heart at the end. Now of course you can always use a regular nail polish when doing the dots, but if you're going to do this, please make sure that they are completely dry before doing the top coating or they will smudge. Now after you've finished the dots, we need to cure those in the lamp 
Mine's a UV lamp, so we're going to do that for two minutes. And then we'll top coat our design and cure that for two minutes as well. So this is the finished design once it's been top coated and cured. Um, I hope you really like the effect. The great thing about this is you can really play with the colour combinations. Uh, the magpie glitter over this um, dark colour is stunning. But this is another combination that I came up with using a gnarly nails uh, pigments. I've used purple and blue on this one and just used a pink glitter on the inside of the heart. On the third combination, instead of using hearts, I've just used flowers. So again, I've used pigments, but it really is up to you what you do with this design. It's so easy and simple. So I hope you enjoyed um, my nail art video today. Please let me know in the comments section below if you like my design. I hope you're all having fun getting creative with nails. See you next time. Bye.